good morning students this is the first audio lecture of english literature for class 8 as you know the first chapter of literature is the best christmas present in the world so in this audio lecture i am giving you the summary of the lesson and in between you will see that i have put the important character's name on the screen also the important character in the story are the narrator jim macpherson connie macpherson and hans wolf so i'm starting the narration the story starts when the narrator went to a junk shop in bridport looking for a roll top desk the junk seller informed him that the desk he picked up was made of oak the narrator found it cheaper than the others he had seen although the desk was not in proper shape yet he bought it and started working on it he took out the damaged cover he observed that water and fire took a toll he opened the drawers easily but for the last one he had to apply force he took out a tin box with a note on it with instruction to bury the letter with her out of curiosity he read the letter that mentioned the address of the lady macpherson that is coney macpherson it was written in pencil he read the letter actually that letter was written by jim macpherson husband of who was the husband of coney macpherson jim was an official in uh, english army he was an officer in english army and he went for a war with the german army so from the war uh, place from the war land he has written a letter he had written the letter to coney so in that letter jim her husband was happily narrating an incident what was that incident it was christmas morning and they were standing in their trenches he observed a white flag waving from the side of german soldiers they called out happy christmas loudly soldiers from his side also wished them back cheerfully However the air of confusion was offering them to share snaps and sausage after 12 soldiers started coming towards them in no man's land no man's land means the space between the borders of uh, english army and the german soldiers so initially the narrator was apprehensive yet he made no efforts to stop them he was rather happy that they were celebrating happiness with his enemy soldiers He further added that he liked the way the German officer came towards him and introduced him. He wished him happy Christmas and told him that he should play the cello in the orchestra. Here you don't get uh, confused. Actually, there was a soldier, there was an army officer in German uh, troop. His name was Hans Wolf. He has introduced himself to uh, Jim Macpherson, and he told that. Uh, he was a cello player in the orchestra before coming to the war and uh, mr macpherson also introduced himself to hans wolf and he told that he was a school teacher g macpherson was a school teacher in uh, dorset a place in uh, england so they've started their conversation and they shared drum and sausage hans wolf who was a german soldier he was speaking perfect english and uh, Jim was definitely very surprised to see that how he could be able to speak so fluent English and he said that he was uh, very much fond of English writers he was reading English magazines and uh, English books so the knowledge of English uh, was almost from there so in their discussion they have discussed Bathsheba Gabriel Oak Sergeant Troy and about Dorset so about his their families also in hansel family there are uh, his family includes his wife and one son so the letter read as the narrator had the best time with the enemy celebrating so next the fun element was a game of football they made goal posts by putting uh, by putting a uh, gray gray coats their coats they have put the their coats on the no man's land and they have made the goal post from them so 
Hans Wolf and Jim McPherson wanted to resolve the differences and would not harm their families. McPherson was sure of winning a game of football. Game was, but the game was won by the Germans. <coughs> and to his surprise, Hans Wolf admitted that their goal was wider than theirs. So soldiers of both the sides bade goodbye to each other and felt that the night was a memorable one. They exchanged carols and they, so uh, they sang a song from their trenches. And Jim concluded the letter by saying that both armies wanted for peace. So after reading the letter, the author could not sleep and decided to drive to Bridport. Because the address was written on the letter, so he was knowing from there he got to know the address. So he asked a boy the address when he went there and old man told him that he knew about Mrs. Macpherson. But her house was burnt, she was not at home. Uh, and why her house was burnt? Actually, she used to burn candles instead of using electricity, considering it to be cheap. So now she, she was in a nursing home and uh, named uh, Burlington House on the jo Dorchester Road. So he went to Dorchester Road, the Burlington House, to meet Connie McPherson to deliver that letter to her. When he entered, he saw a hallway and a light Christmas tree kept in a corner with a lopsided angel on top. He asked for Miss, Mr. Mac, Mrs. McPherson while waiting to observe that everyone in the dining room was singing and wearing a paper hat. Then she, uh, then he, uh, he was waiting for uh, Mrs. Connie McPherson. The matron, when he was waiting, the matron offered a mince pie and took him along the corridor. And she told about Mrs. Macpherson that uh, she was not there with the others. She would be happy to have a visitor as she didn't have a family. So when he reached there, he saw an old lady sitting in a wheelchair. She folded hands in her lap. Her hair was folded in a wispy bun. The visitor wished her Merry Christmas, Connie, and gave her the tin box. In that tin box, the letter was kept. He described her how he discovered that, but she paid no need to all his conversation. Rather, she was smiling. She came forward with tearful eyes. He mistook him for her husband, Jim. Now, she asked him to sit near her and read, read the letters himself. She wanted to hear his voice. She told him that they would have for Christmas cake and marzipan. So, Kony was uh, very old and she mistook the narrator as her husband because in that letter, Jim has written that uh, he would come back to meet Kony. So, she mistook the narrator, her husband, and she was very happy that her husband came back to meet her on the Christmas day and she was offering cakes and marzipan to her husband. And that become the best Christmas present for Kony. So this is the summary of this chapter. One more thing students. I am giving you a link that is www.learncbse.in That is also you can see on the screen. From there you can note down all the question answers and the word meanings of uh, the first chapter in your note copy. Okay, you'll have to make two copies for uh, English, one for literature and one for grammar. So in the literature copy, you will uh, note down the word meaning and the question answers of uh, the first chapter that is the best Christmas present in the world. And the exercises you will do in your book with pencil if you have the book. If you don't have the fresh copies, uh, make, make it a rough work and later on you will fare it. Okay, thank you.